today I want to talk to you about the Harvey Industrial Bandsaw. Uh, this thing is awesome. Overall, I am so, so psyched with the fact that I upgraded from my little jet, you know, three quarter horsepower um, saw. It was, it was fine, but it just, this thing makes it look like you know, a baby beaver versus an adult beaver. So I'm super here for this tool. Um, so this this guy, let's see, let's start with the, the basics. Um, so you have a three horsepower motor on this, which is fantastic. Um, and it makes it really, really easy to cut through, you know, your densest of woods. So, so far I've cut through walnut, ash, monkey pod, cocobolo, and it has not balked once, which I am so psyched about. Um, I absolutely, and, and it cuts through straight and it doesn't, the blade doesn't walk. It's really easy to get the tension right. Um, you know, the only difference on that regard that I really noticed between the Harvey Industrial and the Jet is that the Jet gives you like a little cheat sheet on the back to tell you, you know, like this is the tension you need to rotate this to in order for, you know, your blade tension to be correct. So you have to kind of know what you're doing a little bit more with this tool um, than you do with with the, the Jet Beginner Guy, which makes sense logically, because if you're, you know, starting with a three horsepower tool, you probably should just do some research anyway. So that's not a problem. It's just something to be aware of. Um, it, so it's a three horsepower motor. It has 240 volt power, so you do need 240 access. Um, and that's, that's a really solid feature that I like because it actually cuts down on your electrical bill, like it cuts down on your energy usage, um, which is really, really cool. And so it also comes with a three quarter inch blade um, the blade itself, the teeth of it are a little bit wider than your, some of your other blade options, like the Laguna that I've used is a little bit narrower. Um, so that's just something to be aware of when you're resawing material, you want to give yourself a little bit more room in between, you know, where you resaw on your, on your saw, um, to where you want to be at your finished width. Um, so that's just one thing to be aware of. Um, it does also come with this really, really nice resaw fence. Um, it works with the Harvey um, miter gauge, which is really cool. So if you, you know, need to use a miter gauge for anything on here, it does that. Um, the only weird thing that I've really come across with this saw is the location of the power button. It's on the back side of the blade, so you have to kind of reach through here to turn it on and turn it off which really isn't a problem it, because it's got so much capacity here, so you're totally safe to do that. Um, it's just an interesting design. So, you know, I, I wondered why they didn't put it on the back, but it's kind of in the way back here, and you run the risk of if you have it up against the wall, you wouldn't actually be able to reach it, so that logically makes sense. Um, having it on the front, I... I have no idea why they chose really to put it back here, but that's the only weird thing I've come across. Um, some of the really cool features of this tool, they sent it with an entire set of hex wrenches, which I think is dope, and they correspond to different, you know, nuts that, that are throughout the whole structure. So if you ever need to replace anything, um, you know, you've got what you need right here for that and they sent like a little hanging tool guy on the back um, that you can install and so you can have your hex wrenches right there and ready for you. Um, one of the other awesome things about this machine is it actually has two dust port extraction locations. So there's one right here on the front and then there's one right here underneath the motor. Um, which I think is really cool because as the blade feeds through, you know, it comes through like this and it pushes the dust down into your hose and then whatever's missed by this hose is then collected at the bottom of your blade. So having a, a two-fold dust port is awesome because it's really like a zero dust situation provided of course that you have a halfway decent vacuum, which I can't say that I do right now. I really need to get a different one. Um, so it's a little dusty, but 
the the machine itself came really solidly greased when it came out of the box like you it, it was a little it was so intense they really wanted it to to last and be fully functional so they greased the living bejesus out of it which you know not a bad thing a uh, little messy to clean up but not a bad thing um i love the overall design of it you know, you've got these these turning knobs, like these little gear looking guys, which I really like the industrial effect of it. And it kind of feeds right into the name Harvey Industrial. So that's pretty cool. Um, and that's pretty consistent throughout the entire machine. Um, the other cool piece of this is that a lot of times on other machines, you have to adjust your your blade guides with a hex wrench and you know some of the machines don't send a hex wrench with you but this is really cool because it's actually you just twist this knob and that releases these and then you just rotate this little knob and you can set it really really easily and it's less of a hassle you don't have to worry about where your hex wrenches are even though they're already on the back for you but I love that you don't actually have to worry about it it also comes with your tape measure for you know measuring the blade depth um, already installed on this fence. I love how this fence is installed. It's really it's a nice design. It's very streamlined um, and it slides just so nice. So I really love this feature of it. And you know so far I haven't really come across anything that I don't like. Um, there's some really cool stuff happening. I'm going to angle the camera a little bit different so you can see. But there's some really cool stuff happening underneath. Sorry. So, down here is where you go to change your blade. So, this is one of actually my favorite features of this. So, you rotate this little knob and then you slide that down. And that allows you to open this door so that you can get in here and really clean out all the gunk that collects inevitably uh, at the bottom side of your blade. Um, and then from there, when you want to change your blade, you also rotate this and this little red guy comes right out. It's super easy to adjust all of your stuff. And oops, that's a little out of alignment. Um, but yeah, so I absolutely love that feature of it. And it just makes it really, really easy to keep everything clean and tidy and organized. Um, and then when you're done, you just pop this right back up and it completely blocks the, the dust access from coming out the front um, and you know forces it to go into your chute. The last feature of this saw that I'm super into is this brake pedal. I remember when it came out of the box going, okay, I mean, that's cool, but like how useful is that actually going to be? Is it worth the extra money? Is it worth blah, blah, blah. And so far I've found that it is. Um, I love that there's that feature because you don't actually have to turn it off and on in between each blade adjustment. You can literally stop the blade with the brake. It'll stop. You can safely measure and adjust as much as you want. And then you let it back up and it turns right back on again. Um, so that's really awesome. It's also great for, you know, when you just want it to take a beat and you turn it off and you don't want it to just keep running for whatever reason, you can just pop on that brake. Um, if you hit a weird spot or if your blade binds, um, you can stop it really quick. I think that's a phenomenal feature that is really underrated. So overall, I really love this tool. You know, this is a great little locking mechanism for the adjustment of the, the depth of your throat here. Um, the quality on each of these pieces is really fantastic. I have not had a single problem Customer service for Harvey is amazing. Um, and I just, I really, I'm so happy that I upgraded to this tool. And I, you know, I can't encourage you guys enough to give this little guy a chance. Um, and you even have little windows to check out what's going on <laughs> within your tools. So 
I mean, it's just great. I absolutely love it. I hope you guys too, too. I hope that this video, you know, helps you make an informed decision. Um, you know, obviously there's different things on different tools that work for different people and things that don't. So if there's things that don't work for you about this tool, let me know because I'm genuinely curious. Um, and yeah, I hope that this video helps you and thanks for, thanks for listening.